Hello, we're here at the National Forensic Academy and we're talking about the use of gel lifts. We've found a, a footwear impression by using oblique lighting on the floor and the goal in mind now is to pick that up uh, to be able to collect it and we're going to use a gelatin lift or some people refer to them as gel lift. So by the use of oblique lighting I've found a footwear impression that's about between here and here and what we're going to do is show these gel lifts are commercially available and they come with a piece of acetate over the top of them so what's required is removal of this acetate film first and what you're left with is the low tack adhesive gel here and it's important when you put this down to come up with a system so that you don't get as uh, air bubbles so there's a couple of different methods you can start in the middle and bring it down on the edges or you can start on one end and move to the other in this particular case I'm going to start here I know that my footwear impression is just slightly in front of where I've uh, tacked down this end at and I'm just going to kind of smooth it down as I go. Once that's done, you can make sure and get any other air bubbles out by using a roller or some other item to smooth it down. Gel lift should be applied for a minimum of 10 minutes because that allows the gelatin in that material to actually kind of absorb down into the material and pull up whatever evidence is there. Now this gel lift has been demonstrated uh, without showing photography of the gel lift or of the footwear impression prior to putting the gel lift down. Obviously we would want to document the location of that footwear impression and photograph it with and without scales in place prior to collection. Now we're ready for the collection of it and simply pick up one end one smooth motion, remove it from the substrate and it's difficult to see but under the right lighting there if you get the oblique lighting the footwear impression is is the present so we're going to go ahead and package that we want to obviously keep the impression side up and you can use a number of different packaging methods but what's recommended is some sort of a box that's shallow in nature that you can put it down into and then it's best to tape the corners 